All right, so we're going to kick off our discussion talking about wireless security, first talking about our wireless encryption standards, the way in which we secure our wireless networks. There are four different primary types of wireless encryption standards, and you're probably already a bit confused because you're going to see that there's three listed in the main bullet point and three in the heading. Well, because there are three primary ones based on this exam, but there's a newer one that was announced and released this year, WPA3, that I noticed personally really isn't mentioned in what I found in regards to the study material for this exam. So in regards to Microsoft's perspective, there may only be three, but Microsoft may be updating this portion of the exam to include the newer version. So we're going to talk about this from the perspective of there being three and potentially being a fourth. So let's go through them. So the oldest and the original one is something called WEP, which is Wireless Equivalent Privacy, and it's compromised. It's been hacked for quite some time. It can be hacked in a matter of minutes. It's the oldest. It's the original. It's not secure. You shouldn't use it. Um, but it's still around. In fact, all of them are still around. And when we do a live demo, I'll show that. The second iteration is Wi-Fi protected access, which is called WPA. Now, you may see this referred as wireless protected access. You may see this referred as wireless protected access to or Wi-Fi protected access. And the difference is, is Wi-Fi is an actual trademark name for an organization and wireless is the actual technical name. So whether you see Wi-Fi protected access or wireless protected access, it means the same thing. So WPA came about when we found out that WEP was compromised and secure. It came about, it solved the problem as an intermediary type of short-term solution, um, but then it became compromised and WPA2 then superseded it. And it's the current standard, at least it was until WPA3 was announced this year in 2018. So if you get asked a question on this exam and it asks you which of the three is the most secure, which one is not compromised, and you only see WPA2, you don't see WPA3 as the option, then WPA2 is going to be your answer. But if you see WPA3, it's going to be the answer. So what we're going to do first off in this section is we're going to talk about these four different encryption methodologies, and then we're going to talk about some other ways in which we can secure our wireless networks and the pros and cons of each. So in the next video, we're going to kick off our discussion a bit more going into detail about these encryption standards, starting with WEP. So if you have any questions about this video, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.